Guess what? Within about 40 minutes, not up to 40 minutes, maybe about 40 minutes, the Judy actually did what somebody has predicted she would do. I'm still saying that these people know that there's a drama out there. And they seem to really want to keep feeding the drama. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So let me get this out of the way. I got a lot of comments yesterday about my hair. People are like, oh, you changed your hairstyle. You know, you changed your hair. It's actually the same hair. The only difference is that there's no coils on this one. And uh, the same uh, hair, um, the same hair, the same hairstyle. Some people think it's a weave on. It's actually not a weave on. If you look at my scalp, you will see it, it's braids. So normally when the hairdresser does it to this point, uh, then she weave these braids and go through the whole coiling process. But we started the hair quite late in the day. I was already tired and I was not in the mood for like sitting down any longer. I just told her to leave it and she left it like that. And I said, I can coil it some other time. But the main while I said, I'll carry it like this. And uh, it seems people really like this. But the problem with this, let me just get this out of the way. You know, the elephant in the, elephant in the room. The, the problem with this is, it means I have to brush it, which I don't, I'm not a fan of. You see, I'm not a fan of having to do anything with my hair. I like to just wake up, put my braids down and I'm out of the door. But this one needs brushing. I have to brush it every time. But apparently a lot of you like it. So basically it's the exact same hair. There's no difference. It's just the difference. Sorry, there's a difference. The difference is that it has no coils. And I can always add coils right now if I wanted. But anyways, that's just that about my hair because a lot of comments yesterday were about my hair. So going back to you and the... Uh, Yule, Yule, Doce and Judy, right? So I made a video and I was thinking, I made a video, uh, I already made a video about it yesterday, right? And then later in the day, they came up again and made more posts. I was confused then, you know, because I haven't edited and uploaded that video and I was thinking, should I just top that video up and just, you know, speak on top of that or should I just make a new one? I thought, you know what, let me just make a new one uh, and uh, keep this separate. But it's very similar to the last one. And uh, so, you let Doche made a post. He came back again and made another post. This will be his second post since uh, his son, uh, since his son's life ended. Let me read you guys what he posted. Uh, you know, it's not even just about his post. It's the fact that it's like when he posts, Judy will post. It's always a few minutes after he posts. Judy, the second wife, would post. If you don't know, there's a Nigerian actor called uh, You Le Doche. He was married for he was married for 17 years. There was a rumor he was having a affair with a, uh, an actress and the next thing there was a rumor that the, the actress was pregnant and one day he just came out and just said oh meet my second wife and this is our new baby so that's what the story is and uh, recently he lost his oldest son from his previous uh, sorry oldest son from his first marriage okay so this is what this is about so in case you don't know uh, you're just joining us and you don't know the story so you're kind of with us in this uh, story so let me read you guys what you let what uh, you know you post posted and for those that, you know, let me just say this, right? For those that say, oh, just leave them, their private life. When is, once you post it on the internet, it's no longer private life. When these things are being posted on it, it's no longer private life. People are bound to discuss it. Let me tell you, is it because we're discussing it on the internet? People still discuss it in their home and say, you know that actor they call you? Uh, he do so, 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 you know, yes, say, that same conversations people may have in their homes, because we're putting it in the video and share, in a video and showing on social media, you know, it doesn't change the fact that it's still conversation that will be hard. Um, so, uh, now, this is what he posted, right? And then um, posted himself in a black dress. Sorry, he posted himself in, uh, in black clothes. And he says, um, um, I thank you all for your condolence messages. Condolence visits, calls, care, and prayers you all offered to my son and my family. A lot of concern have been overwhelming. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you from the depths of my heart. May God bless you all abundantly. Thank you. You will not believe that in the comment section, let me find that comment. Somebody actually said, guys, say, give this thing time that Judy will post it soon. Let me find it. Somebody commented in the comment section and said, okay, and the person said, now that you have posted this picture, you know, said, Judy Austin will post shortly or manage to wait till tomorrow morning. In Iwo language, Ekwensu means Satan or the devil, right? Say, Joyce Paula that was unable to close her legs and say no to a married man. Person with her own spoil 
that didn't bother if another person owned spoil. Basically, they're saying that that second wife's uh, that second wife was marriage and her marriage ended, so her marriage spoiled. You know, didn't work, so she tried to spoil someone else's. Okay, I will read to you guys in a second. What did Judy posted? I'm speaking about when people put things on social media, when people bring stuff onto social media. A lot of the people that are commenting are commenting for what they have observed, what these people have these people have put out there. This person now said, Joel, the man used to say, you know, I'm a proud polygamist, I'm a this, I'm a that. Somebody then has said, Your eye don't clear now. I'll be you are still a proud polygamist. That's the question this person is asking him. So when you say, mind your business, mind your business, he brought his business to people. There are a lot of I'll say it again, there are a lot of people that are doing more, worse, whatever better whatever you want to call it than Yul Edoche well people, people don't get to talk about it because it was not plastered all over social media so people are still like you know that condolence message and all of that but some people are still not really really having it right this person said or oh, follow Judy Austin and build your home God bless Edoche family and this one says what we the online e-laws are expecting from you is to come out and publicly announce that you've collected the bright price of Judy I can see a bag of shite, if you know what I mean. So bag of S-H-I-T, right? He said, and that you no longer have anything to do with her. And also beg your beautiful wife, Queen May, for forgiveness. That's the only way we, the online in-laws, will forgive you then. And also join you in begging her. Guess what? Within about 40 minutes, not up to 40 minutes, maybe about 40 minutes, the Judy actually did what somebody has predicted she would do. She reposted uh, Yule Doche's post. She said, As a DK, you are a great man. And great men face great challenges. So the loss of his son is a great challenge. Is that, is that what it means? Face great challenges. Your life is in God's hands. You see why I'm telling you guys that is, I, I'm going to post the video separately so they can stand alone because I think I said some things on in I said some things in that one. Let me just address some things in this one. You know why I feel like it's very insensitive for her to always jump at every opportunity when the man posts, she will post and she keeps doing all these things, right? It, everything she says will be nitpicked and do you know what I mean? People will be looking deeper into every word of what she posts. She said and great men face great challenges people may be like okay so you feel like the loss of his son is a challenge abby is it because it's not your own son that died that you think it's okay to come and call it a challenge right and she now said your life is in god's hands the question then some people ask is his life is in god's hand but the life of his son is not you see why i feel like the best thing for her is to be quiet is to be quiet even the so-called polygamy where we are to we're talking about are you not supposed to be respectful of the first wife? Are you not supposed to be shush? The first wife is the leader. You follow from back. Or you follow your husband from back. She said, um, your life is in God's hand. Trust that he will lead you always. Remain strong. Okay? That's what she wrote, she wrote there. But to my surprise, you know I told you guys, there's another video I made which I was saying that. They said... Uh, um, um, they said that you removed uh, the second wife, removed the second wife's child and everything from his Instagram. I think I was off YouTube then. I was not creating content then. But by the time I went there to go and check, about a few days later, he has, Kukuma deleted everything altogether as at that time. So I didn't see that. So that deleting of, they said, that that's what they said, that he deleted uh, Judy, deleted Judy, Judy's child and everything about Judy from his page, right? Um, from his Instagram. You know, People assumed then it, it was a sign that, okay, he's done with her, the marriage is over, and all of that. And there was a rumor that was going on that they said that child is not his, that Judy's child, the second wife's child is not his. Now, after she made that post, he came and he replied and said, Amen, and said, Thank you. Ijele, Ijele Odogu. Ijele Odogu. Odogu is Ijele. Abi? So that means, if you go by that though, it means that uh, they are still together. That's what it means. It means that they are still together. He replied and acknowledged her post. I'm still saying that these people know that there's a drama out there. And they seem to really want to keep feeding the drama. On her post, people blasted her so much. Like this comment said, stop this sympathy post. Must you always wait for him to post before you do? 
right? He, the comments, people blasted her so much on her post, on her page, on her post that she limited the comments. Not everybody could comment anymore. Now, I'm coming back to, you know, let me tell you guys, you know, people will talk. I know, okay, he's a married man, she shouldn't have married him. Go and look for a single man and marry. But I'll still say it. Single ladies are free agents. A married man and a married woman are the ones that are supposed to say, I am married, I am not a free agent. I belong to, I belong to my husband, I belong to my wife. You get my point. So I always say, if you did not go and marry her, there will be no marriage. You see all this nonsense she's doing? I call it nonsense because I think there are boundaries. Stay behind. Don't always put yourself out there and try to create more drama. You know, I feel like that's how I feel. She's very insensitive about the whole thing. It's not going to be today, right? Especially considering the saga surrounding their story. Let me tell you guys, if you, this is how I feel, if he had enough respect for his wife, May, there are some things he would have put his foot down and say, you know, Judy, leave this. Okay, leave this to me. Don't worry, don't make it post, just leave it. Are you listening, guys? I believe to a great extent he plays a role in whatever, you, you know, what's it called now? Judy is doing. That's how I feel about it. So if you feel like Judy is disrespecting me, Judy is insensitive and all of that, it is because you allowed it. And don't forget, till today, May has not come back on the internet. And from what I'm seeing, I think, from what I'm seeing, is like, you didn't want to come back, like, suddenly. He wanted to do it slowly. So that's why he first posted about his son, and now he has posted this one. It's going to be like, okay, he has finished his morning. Okay, he wants to come back. He can come back if he wants. That is life. Life will move on. You know, the boy that is gone is gone. But I, I see it as two of them, him and Judy getting ready. Because let me tell you guys, from what we have seen, um... What's it called now? Um, you seems to love the attention. He showed it then when the news came out. He seems to love the attention. He seems to love the popularity, the trending, and all of that. And he sees them as opportunity to cash out when that marriage story came out. So now he may say to himself, my son is gone, he's gone. What am I going to do? I cannot bring him back. It's time to come back and start creating my content and making my money. I won't be surprised if he does that. But I still feel like to a great extent, if he had any respect at all for, for May, his first wife, he should be able to tell Judy, stay out of this, just leave it. I handle it. You just be behind me, leave this and leave that and leave that. But apparently from what we're seeing, you know, it doesn't look like that is happening. Even in the traditional sense of polygamy, there is a place of the second wife and uh, there's a respect that the first wife gets. I just feel like they're not handling it uh, properly. I don't know. This is how I feel about it. Um, as always, this is my opinion and as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.